It's a car enthusiast's dream, with hundreds of classic cars on display. With the sun shining down on Warsaw Arboretum, thousands of people turned up for the Warsaw Classic Car and Transport Show. We have cars here dating right back to the earliest 1925, which is a Bean made in Tipton, which is the vehicle just behind me. And then we cover all sorts of classic cars, buses, commercials. Amongst the buses, we've got the Warsaw double-deck bus, that's from the 60s, and we've got a Birmingham double-deck bus as well. So we represent all forms of transport, including custom kit cars, uh, sports cars, American cars, going all through the ages. And then for the children, we've got the bouncy castles, and then we've got quite a, an area selling auto jumble, which is automobilia, models of the vehicles on display, and collectibles. It's become very popular. We started off 25 years ago, and I think we had around 200 vehicles at that show. Um, this year it's grown, and we've got over 450 this year. And when the weather's nice like it is today, the public just love it to come out and have a look at all these things. It's nostalgia for a lot of people. Um, personally, I think most of the, the vehicles that create more interest are the 50s, 60s more vehicles because people like to come down and look back at the cars they owned, the first cars they had. The difficulty with the early 1920s ones, you've got to be of a certain age now to have actually owned those sort of vehicles. So it's a nostalgia day, a nostalgia really. For the majority, it's all about having a fun day out while taking in the beauty of a wide array of classic cars but there are some here hoping that their cars will win prizes as well as plaudits. They're all put in certain categories and of ages and then we judge for the best in each class. We've got a lot of car clubs here, so we judge the best car club stand and then present around 20 awards at the end of the day. The Mayor of Warsaw might not strike you as a petrol head at first glance, but she was one of many at the Arboretum. How many? I asked Jeff. Well, we get this one, we'd be expecting around three to 4,000 to attend. Um, and because the weather's nice, obviously it encourages people to come out on a wet day. You know, it's a lot quieter, but today is perfect weather once the sun's shining. Jeff will tell you that each of his shows is special, but this one, perhaps, holds some significance, being the 25th year that the show has taken place in Warsaw. Oh, it's an achievement for 25, although we've, I've been organising events for over 40 years. Um, we was at Trenton Gardens only a couple of weeks ago, and we was up to the 27th show there. So we've got quite a few that have gone on, but Walsall's about the second longest running one that we've got. Um, quite a few over the years have oh, by the wayside for different reasons, because we used to do 18 shows a year. Now we've cut back down to eight shows a year because we work mostly in the Midlands, and most of them are at the Stately Home, so we do Shugborough Hall and Ragley Hall and uh, Trentham Gardens. Uh, the Arboretum and Dudley Himley Hall are the only two council-type venues we work on. Tom Bowen for the Midland in Warsaw.